charcoal powder and the diseases in digestive system. This is your charcoal channel providing you with helpful health information about charcoal powder. We will talk about charcoal powder and the diseases in digestive system. When you take the medicinal charcoal, it will stop diarrhea since it absorbs and removes all the toxins from foods remaining in the stomach or foods passing through the stomach, wrong medication taken, toxins from decayed foods, germs causing diarrhea. The effectiveness of a medicinal charcoal to absorb and remove toxins is much greater than any other antibiotics currently used for inflammatory conditions caused by viruses like food poisoning, bacterial diarrhea, dysentery, enteritis, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, appendicitis, diverticulitis, typhoid, and cholera. There are no side effects even though you may take overdose of the medicinal charcoal. If you take anti-diarrhea medicine to stop diarrhea instead of eliminating the cause, the toxins in the intestines may remain in the intestines, and when it gets absorbed into the body, it can do more harm to your body. Medicinal charcoal, however, is very helpful because it cures diarrhea by removing the causative agents like the toxin emitted by harmful viruses or toxic substances. There are many patients who complain of discomfort from gas in their abdomen. Symptoms vary such as burping, bloating, frequent farting, stomachache, bad breath, lack of appetite, early satiety, nausea, and constipation, etc. If your parts smell seriously bad, passing gas frequently, feel bloated, have gas in the abdomen, have indigestion. All these symptoms are caused by much gas in the intestines. If you do not pass the gas out of the body, gas will become absorbed into the body through capillaries in the intestines and toxins will accumulate in the body. Gases that are passed out of the body are mostly produced from the fermentation process of bacteria that stick to the walls of the intestines or all pieces contained long in the intestines. However, no matter how well foods become digestion in the small intestine, part of the foods that are not digested move into the large intestine and become fermented by colon bacteria. The function of medicinal charcoal is to remove poisonous substances and gas produced from abnormal fermentation. It does not absorb lactic acid bacillus that are beneficial for the body, but removes harmful bacteria, viruses, carbon dioxide, hydrogen, etc. One gram of medicinal charcoal absorbs 500 cc of carbon dioxide and 3 cc of hydrogen. You can expect the greatest effect is a single medication material of medicinal charcoal for abdomen gas removal, gas incontinence, and irritable bowel syndrome including bad fart smell and bad breath. 60% of those who have stomach disorder in Korea are classified as the patients with functional dyspepsia, so-called mental stomach disorder for which no cause and no cure have been found so far. Recently, however, it was found that it was caused by the toxins that accumulate in our bodies. If you take medicinal charcoal after meal, the stomach does a peristalsis mixing gastric fluid according to conditional reflex. During this process, medicinal charcoal absorbs toxins harmful germs and bodily waste, so as the result, it cleans the stomach and the stomach walls damaged by the continuous passing of toxins. Through peristalsis, the medicinal charcoal is mixed with gastric juice and sent to duodenum where it is mixed with bile juice produced from the liver and pancreatic juice secreted by the pancreas. 
This digestive and intestinal circulatory process cleans the inside of duodenum and pancreas. Through digestion and circulation process between intestines, the medicinal charcoal cleans not only the inside of the duodenum and pancreas, but also all the organs related to the digestion process and every part damaged by the continuous passing of toxins. Finally, it cleans the intestines by removing toxins, harmful germs, and decayed substances through stomach colon reflex process. Please click like and subscribe to our channel to get more useful information for a healthier life. Next time, we'll talk about Helicobacter, Pylori germ, and charcoal powder. Charcoal powder and the diseases in digestive system.